In Balboa Park, people point their cameras and smartphones at the beautiful scroll work and reliefs along the Prado. Not unusual, but these amateur photographers are part of a special program called SEPIA. SEPIA is an acronym. SEPIA stands for Seniors Exploring Photography, Identity and Appreciation. Uh, and it's an outreach initiative here at the museum uh, where we engage older adults and seniors through uh, four-week courses, through art talks, and through interactive museum tours. Each course takes on a different theme. This one is called On Location. We're exploring architecture in Balboa Park. Then we're exploring form and color in uh, Chicano Park. How many of you, it's your first time here to Chicano Park? Wow, so over half of the class, it seems like. So I'm really excited that we're all here to explore today. They're exploring color through the rich murals activists painted on the underbelly of the Coronado Bridge in the 1970s. Sherry Anderson is drawn in by a painting of an eagle atop a field of vibrant yellow. I don't really know anything about the equipment. I have a little point and shoot, but I do have a design background, and so I know about composition and form and all the art artistic parts and so I just try to get something pleasing in my yeah. frame and hope for the best. Anderson says she turned to sepia after retiring from her interior design business. I mean I can do this without all the business pressure. There's a lot of, of business and psychology that goes into design which is very interesting when you're young but it gets more wearing as you get older. And so this is fun to just be able to do the pure creative part and not have to worry about keeping the business going, keeping the clients happy. All I have to do is make myself happy. Despite her retirement, Anderson still has a job to do. She's a caregiver for her adult daughter who has a disability. When you're caregiving, you create beauty in a certain way, but I really want something tangible too. After printing their best shots, students discuss their work. I like this one because I'm really fascinated by the juxtaposition between the color and the concrete. And that really mm -hmm. speaks to the neighborhood too, right? Because the neighborhood was always a vibrant place. Um, and then when the highway went in in the 1960s, you can imagine if somebody suddenly in you know, Balboa Park just dug up the Prado. Program manager Kevin Lindy says this kind of engagement later in life is linked to better mental and physical health, and it's something the museum hopes to expand. It currently reaches more than 700 students annually. We have this increasing population uh, of older adults and seniors as part of the baby boomer population, uh, and they're they're redefining what it means to, to age. Um, and so they're looking for creative pursuits, they're looking for continuing education, they're looking for um, to get involved in things. That it creates a t totally different perspective on your life. It makes you realize how much there is out there in the wide world. It helps you forget politics for a while. I mean, when you're just immersed in creativity and beauty, you don't have to think about all the rest of life that maybe isn't quite so beautiful. I, I would recommend it to anybody who wants a little stimulation and a change in their life. Megan Burks, KPBS News.